Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about those people who were coming here to retire to Thailand. I'm going to give you some useful information so you don't lose a lot of money, which has happened to the people who've retired over the past year. And this is using the 800,000 baht method with regard to obtaining your visa. I would say don't do this method, or at least at the present don't do this method. For those people that use the 800,000 baht method into their bank account in Thailand to get their visa, they have lost a lot of money over the past year and I'm going to give you some figures and show you why that has happened. Okay, before anybody mentions it, yes it is just a paper loss, but a paper loss might not ever recover from what you've lost in the past year. Now. The reason why I've done this video is because the volatility at the minute of the Thai baht. Um, now I know a lot about the volatility of the Thai baht because when Brexit happened I went from getting 50 baht to the pound down to at its lowest 36 baht to the pound. So that's an awful lot of money to lose every month with regard to the volatility of the Thai baht. Now at the minute the Thai baht is plummeting and there's a lot of economical situations going on with regard to the Thai baht. The economy is crashing because of this situation. The exports are going down. So there's many, many factors what's regarding to the Thai baht and its strength. It's gone from one of the best currencies performance in the Southeast Asia to the worst at the minute. So this is some examples as to how much money these people have lost if they went to the 800,000 baht method with regard to getting their retirement visa. So I've done a breakdown and I'll put the figures up here. So for instance, we'll look at the exchange rates one year ago. So one year ago, it was to the pound, 39.65, euro, 35.66, US dollars, 29.80, and Australian dollars, 21.85. So a year ago, your 800,000 baht would have cost you in pounds 20,176, euros 22,434, US dollars 26,845, and Australian dollars 36,613 dollars. So again this year, as of August 2021, and this is the, the figures as of today. So the pound now is 46.16. The euro is 39.12. US dollars 33.37. Australian dollars 24.51. So your 800,000 baht, if you were using your hard earned income to put the 800,000 baht in the bank, at this present month, that would cost you pounds 17,331. Euro 20,449, US dollars 23,973, and Australian dollars 32,639. So, the people that did this method over a year ago, this is how much you've lost in the currency exchange. Yes, I know it's a paper loss only, and you would only lose really that amount of money if you wanted to take that amount of money out at present. I do realise that. but. Who knows what's going on at present? And I'll come on a little bit further about that as far as your money being guaranteed in your bank account. So the coverage and insurance that you get for the money that you've got in your bank account has dropped as from the 11th of August. You are now only insured for 1 million baht. So for those people who have any more than 1 million baht in the bank and the bank goes bust, you only get 1 million back. So that's quite shocking really so for those people with five six seven ten million in the in the bank move it around to different banks because different banks have got coverage up to one million leaving it all in one bank at the minute with what's going on and the economy sort of collapsing who knows what's going to happen but you're only insured for one million baht and if you're using that eight hundred thousand baht method you're very close to that one million baht. So anything over and above that, you stand to lose if the banks go. So getting back to the paper loss, how much have people lost in value of that 800,000 baht in the past year? Well, to tell you, for the pound, if you invested your 800,000 baht a year ago, you are now down 2,845 pounds. 
pounds that is and in euros same thing invested 800,000 baht you are down 1,985 euros from this time last year and the US dollars 2,872 dollars down from this time last year Australian dollars 3,974 so as you can see a lot of money no matter how good the interest rates are you're never ever going to recoup that money back in the Thai bank system you just don't get that much income by interest on the money that you invest in Thailand and it's tied up for a year especially when there's other ways of doing it again I'll put a link up there I've done a, a recycle method where if you live on less than 65,000 baht a year you can recycle the money so therefore not needing 800,000 baht in the bank if you have an income of over 65,000 baht a month pension wise then you still you don't need the 800,000 baht in the bank so so why risk that amount of money going into a bank at this time in this situation what's going on in Thailand where the Thai baht is on a downward momentum so for instance if it goes up to 50 baht now fingers crossed I hope it does go back up to 50 baht so again back to the main reason of this video is to warn those people the likelihood of you if you put the 800,000 baht into a bank account yes it makes getting a visa so so much easier getting an agent to do it, an agent isn't expensive the initial cost to get it set up by an agent is about 30,000 baht and then every year after that is between 18 and 20,000 baht to get it renewed far cheaper than losing like I say nearly 3,000 pounds two, nearly 2,000 euros nearly 3,000 US dollars and nearly 4,000 Australian dollars in putting the 800,000 baht into a bank that's tied up for five months of the year and then you can't go below the 400,000 baht the Thai government want everybody to put the 800,000 baht into the bank account because it's free money for them it's they can use your money to make investments or whatever and you get a pittance of an interest rate with regard to doing that so when there are better easier ways of getting your retirement visa by showing the monthly income I'd suggest to do it so as far as visa is concerned I hope this video was good for you I hope you learned from some something from it look at all the options with regard to getting your retirement visa and the ways you can get it without losing too much money so from Les retired and living the dream till the next video Bye for now.